Hello guys, Haruna here. In this um, video, we're going to take a look at um, a basic smart home configuration using uh, Cisco Packet Tracer 7.0 with um, Internet of Things devices like a ceiling fan, a lamp, and a coffee pot. I have three devices here actually, as you can see on my screen. And uh, there is a home network that we're going to connect the devices on that I have a home uh, gateway and a home switch then I have a modem that is getting its connection from the ISP and uh, a registration server so we're going to walk through the uh, packet tracer activity the first thing we're supposed to do is uh, to set up the home network we first we're going to start with uh, the wired network by connecting the cables then we'll follow we'll do we'll, the the next thing we're going to do is uh, to set up the wireless network so having a home gateway and a home switch we need to connect using a straight through cable that's the switch should be connected to the home gateway i'm picking a straight through cable here so let's just use the first available inter interface on the switch and connect to the home gateway then the pc2 needs to be connected to the switch i have a pc fast ethernet zero interface connected to the switch then um, the coffee pot also needs to connect to the switch the home switch which is connected to the home gateway now the other devices that's the other internet of things devices that we have ceiling fan and the lamp should connect to the home gateway using uh, wi-fi so we need to set up the ssid on the home gateway and uh, we, we do the same on probably uh, on the laptop and uh, on the devices as well so if we go to the home gateway you go to config uh, you go to wireless then we can change the ssid to uh, my home gateway for for instance let's say my okay my home gateway and um, we can set wpa2 security let's call it cisco iot okay that's it then it means any of these uh, devices can connect to the home gateway as long as they have um the ssid that's my home gateway ssid so let's start with the laptop if you click on the icon the laptop icon you can go to desktop and say uh, pc wireless so if i go to pc wireless i can search for available ssids you can see if you click on the connect tab you, my home gateway is one of the networks that are available and you can easily connect to it by providing the password which is cisco i IOT. So if we say connect now, you can see the adapter is active and you can check the link information. You, you can see it's saying here that you have successfully connected to the access point. Okay, that's the PC. And if you come back to the topology, you, you can see that there is a connection between the laptop and uh, the home gateway. So now what we need to connect is uh, the lamp and the ceiling fan. So if you go to, if you click on the lamp icon and go to config, the wireless interface you want to use uh, wpa2 security the passphrase is uh, cisco iot and the ssid that we're connecting to which is the ssid on the home gateway is uh, my my home my home gateway that's the ssid my home gateway so i think that's it for the lamp and for the ceiling fan we can do the same thing if you click on the ceiling fan we can go to uh, config uh, wireless then wpa2 psk password will say cisco iot that's uh, the password and uh, the ssid should be my my home my home gateway that's the ssid and if you close this now we have we have the ceiling fan, the lamp, and the coffee pot all connected to our network. I think okay, the ceiling fan. Let's check. It's not. It's not coming up. Let's see. Wireless zero. Cisco IoT. That's the passphrase. The society is my home. My home gateway. Okay, my home. There's an E here. Yes, yes. So now I think we should be able to connect now. My home gateway so the ceiling fan yes now it's connected 
So we, we've uh, successfully connected the devices like uh, the PC is connected to the home switch, the coffee pot is connected to the home switch, and then the ceiling fan and the lamp, they are both connected to the home gateway using wireless. So I, we are done with uh, setting up the wired network, setting up uh, the wireless network on the devices. Then the next thing we should do is uh, to connect the IoT devices to the network. Okay, yeah, we've done that already. We have we have connected the IoT devices to the network. That's the lamp and the ceiling fan. So now we should be able to access the IoT devices locally. Being able to access them locally means uh, you can click on the devices to turn them on or off. Just like your ceiling fan, you can turn it on or off directly, or you can access the devices remotely. But the first thing we're going to do is to try to access the devices locally, then try to do it uh, remotely. That will be in the second part of uh, this video. I don't want it to be too long and boring. So let's. that will be in part two. Thanks for watching and please do subscribe.